of exaggerated comments on social media were believed, the Wolf Islander 4 came close to sinking on Wednesday, December the 4th. Whatever the truth is, and no official statement has been issued, out of an abundance of caution, the decision was taken to withdraw her from service for inspection. It should be clearly understood that modern commercial vessels feature watertight compartments which make the risk of sinking, even in the event of minor damage, extremely remote. Canadian captains and crews are very well trained and skilled and practiced in managing emergencies. Passengers can always be confident that they travel on some of the safest vessels in the world. And with that message behind us, let's have a look at the situation on December the 5th. Deployment of what is likely a containment boom around a particular area suggests that this is the focus of attention. By late morning, a diver is seen to enter the water and to make his way forward. There is little to see once he submerges. His bubbles are probably under the hull. When he returns to the surface, it's to engage with a tender on board, who lowers him what appears to be a metal bar or rod. The diver then attaches and signals to the tender to draw up a blue bag with unspecified contents. With little to be gained by further observation, we can leave the Wolf Island of Four whilst assessments continue and patiently await the outcome. We're fortunate though to have the Wolf Island of Three available to continue service. She doesn't give a hoot about all the negative comments 